Remember, don't forget that the powerless is the purpose of the process. You're looking for the process. That means the daily things you do on a daily basis that you need to do that move you towards your goal. Not lose 25 pounds today. Not lose five pounds today. The goal is to do this thing that's gonna help you lose 25 pounds today. Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Ryan here and we are doing another hike. I got Ender behind me. Come on, Ender, let's go. And uh, this nice two and a half mile hike that we do. Gonna do some drone flying maybe, if possible. I'll have some drone footage clipping through here of the flights for today, or flights from the past from this area that I've done. Um, just hanging out, you know? It's a Thursday, January 4th, the first week of the new year. I hope you're doing good. I know that I am. Feel pretty good getting back into the routine after the holidays. I think one of the, one of the hardest things is the habits of eating well, eating good, right? So I read this James, James Clear article, and I actually talked about it on another video, which was um, identity-based habits. Like, of course you need to eat right, of course you need to exercise, but you need to infuse them into your identity. So I created an identity for myself. My identity is I'm 180 pounds, 20, I can 25 pull-ups, I have full shoulder extension, I'm a flexible person, and I don't eat processed, addicting food. That's sort of the identity I've created for myself that I'm going to follow this year. Come on, let's go. Because you know this whole New Year's resolution thing. You're supposed to be on your New Year's resolution. Resolve. The year to resolve all the things you've always wanted to accomplish. Yeah. And it's simple. Quite as simple as simply setting goals. And setting something that you want to accomplish. And setting a deadline on it. And then, more important than all that. Like... For me, I lose 10 pounds, but not just the deadline, but it's the process. The thing you're gonna do on a daily basis. You know, I just mentioned my identity. That kind of makes it easier so that when I see junk food, I just don't eat it because I am a person that doesn't eat junk food, right? The other thing too is figuring out those, those habits. Because a lot of the time, honestly, for me, I feel like the weight loss is almost more about doing less than it is about doing more, eating less, that kind of stuff, doing Less of the stuff that basically puts you in environments to eat like shit and not exercise and get lazy. You need to write down five things that you need to do every day that moves you towards your goals. Let me give you some examples. So on my power list, this is my power list, I just wrote it down before I tell you on video, was one, get the 12,000 steps before 8 p.m. today. Number two, do 25 pull-ups today, probably five sets of five. Three, do 25 push-ups today. And those are three simple things I can do for my fitness that will kind of get my mind in the right place to focus on this identity of what I just mentioned earlier. But also, it kind of puts you, it changes your physiology when you do these things and it keeps it on your mind. Because those three things I mentioned are not habits. I don't hit my steps every day, I don't do pull-ups every day, and I certainly don't do push-ups every day. Even if I can do them, I still don't do them. The other two things is to write to my email list, even if it's a short one, and do a five minute journal entry, like a brain dump, right? And why I put these two particular things on my power list today is because writing for myself has not been a habit. You know, I write for clients, I write for my business, but not write for my just myself for the purposes of my own discovery, right? I think a lot and I make videos like this, but I wanna get back in the habit of writing. So those five things I mentioned are things that are easy to do. They're also easy not to do. And it's really about making it a habit, choosing things on your list for your power list that are not habits that you want to become habits. In this case, doing something physically for strength every day and doing something with writing every day creatively. And then last but not least, well, how do you use this power list thing every day? I'm just basically rerouting your information that I learned I think is useful. Is what you decide to do is you continue to adjust this list like I'm probably gonna keep this for the next two or three days maybe a week right and then after a week some of these things will become better habits right uh, and then I'm, I can take some stuff off because they're automatic I don't need to put on my list to, to work out on a certain day because I always work out on that day right so that's the thing and all this comes down to is like you think of it ahead of time right you think of it ahead of time so you're planning it ahead you have it on your mind and you go and do it right whether you want to or not, right? And when you do all five things, the MF CEO says it's a win. 
If you miss one of those five things, it's a loose, you know? And you keep it in a little journal, a little notebook. I know he sells one, but I got another journal that I use. I'll just put it on there. I'm just gonna put W or I'm gonna put L, right? And I can look back and just see to myself, like I'm doing good or I'm doing bad. And that's kind of what you need. You need some way of, some sort of feedback mechanism to let you know how you're doing in your life or towards your goals because that's the reason why people fail their new year's resolutions they don't make a list they don't follow through on the list and more importantly they don't really write anything down right when you write it down you bring it into reality right i've done this exercise with people before where i get people to write down their goals it like works it's freaking like magic right because what it does it keeps you focused when you have bigger goals like you know lose a significant even more weight or accomplish a big dream of yours you have to break it up but remember don't forget that the power list is the purpose of the process you're looking for the process that means the daily things you do on a daily basis that you need to do that move you towards your goal not lose 25 pounds today not lose five pounds today the goal is to do this thing that's going to help you lose 25 pounds today doing 25 push-ups doing 25 pull-ups and doing uh 12 000 steps before 8 p.m are things that i can do today that will make a big difference all right, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you're doing well. 2018, having a good start. Click like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And if you're watching this from, from my email list because you clicked on it, I want to say thank you. Anyways, I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.